हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम सेटर डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज रमनदीप सिंह स्टूडेंट्स यूनाइटेड इंडिया इंश्योरेंस कंपनी लिमिटेड ए ओ नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट फॉर द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नोटिफिकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिलेबस एंड हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट ठीक है सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन विद द नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज देर आर ट्वेंटी वैकेंसीज फॉर फाइनेंस एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफिसर ट्वेंटी वैकेंसीज फॉर लीगल ऑफिसर एंड हंड्रेड वैकेंसीज फॉर द जर्नलिस्ट ऑफिसर सो देर आर वैकेंसीज इन अदर स्ट्रीम्स एज वेल विच वी आर नॉट कवरिंग बिकॉज दैट्स वट वी टीच फॉर यही सब्जेक्ट्स हम पढ़ाते हैं सो मिनिमम एज टू अप्लाई इज ट्वेंटी वन मैक्सिमम एज टू अप्लाई इज थर्टी ईयर्स ठीक है सो मैक्सिमम एज एज ऑन थर्टी थर्टी एथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इट मस्ट नॉट बी मोर देन थर्टी ईयर्स एंड नॉट लेटर दैन योर डेट ऑफ बर्थ शुड बी शुड नॉट बी अर्लियर दैन फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी फोर एंड नॉट लेटर दैन थर्टी एथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड एंड थ्री ठीक है सो वी हैव द प्रॉपर कोर्सेज फॉर ऑल दीज थ्री स्ट्रीम्स फॉर फाइनेंस एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफिसर फॉर लीगल ऑफिसर एंड फॉर द जर्नलिस्ट ऑफिसर लिंक्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन चेक एंड वी आर कवरिंग द एंटायर सिलेबस विद द हेल्प ऑफ वीडियो क्लासेज नोट्स क्विज एंड द टेस्ट सीरीज लाइक राइट सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड सो द एप्लीकेशन फी थाउजेंड रुपी फॉर ऑल द कैंडिडेट फॉर द जनरल कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट्स एंड ओ बी सी कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट्स एंड टू फिफ्टी रुपीज प्लस जी एस टी फॉर एस सी एस टी पी डब्ल्यू बी डी कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट्स ठीक है so commencement uh, of uh, date of application is 15th of october 2024 and the last date to apply is 5th of november 2024 so please remember the last date to apply i would recommend uh, apply as soon as possible if you are eligible and if you are interested so relaxation is there in the age criteria it's 5 years for sc category candidates uh 3 years for obc category candidates and 10 years for persons with disabilities and for ex servicemen it's 5 years right for defense uh, services personnel that's 3 years for widows divorced women it's 9 years divorced women and women legally separated from their husband who have not remarried it's 9 years existing confirmed employee of public sector insurance companies it's 8 years including gic and agriculture insurance company of india limited it's 8 years right so qualification required for finance and investment uh, you you are required ca uh, ca cwa or uh, bcom with 60% marks uh, and it's 55% for sc st category candidates and uh, or mcom right so it's an or so if you have done bcom with 60% marks you are eligible if you have done mcom even then you are eligible if you have done ca course or the cwa course you are eligible for finance and investment scale 1 for legal scale 1 uh, you have done bachelor's degree in law with 60% marks 55% for st st sc st category candidates then you are eligible and if you have done master's degree 60% requirement is not there 50% se bhi agar kari hai master degree then you are eligible theek hai so work if you have work experience that is preferred but you must have uh, registered with bar council of india that is a must experience hona that's that's those students would be preferred for the journalist a scale 1 minimum educational qualification is graduate degree post graduate in any discipline uh, from a recognized university with 60% marks in either degree of the examination चाहे ग्रेजुएशन में चाहे पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन में 60 परसेंट मार्क्स चाहिए एंड 55 परसेंट फॉर एस सी एस टी कैटेगरी कैंडिडेट्स राइट सो वर्किंग नॉलेज ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स इज अ मस्ट सो देर इज अ प्रोबेशन पीरियड राइट द कंपनी रिजर्व द राइट टू टर्मिनेट द सर्विसेज ऑफ द कैंडिडेट बट देर इज प्रोबेशन फॉर द कैंडिडेट्स ठीक है एम्प्लॉयज के लिए है राइट right? कितना है फाइव ईयर्स फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ प्रोवेशन पीरियड इज देयर विच कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड राइट सो इफ इन केस इन द इवेंट ऑफ रिजाइनिंग फ्रॉम द कंपनी बिफोर एक्सपायरी ऑफ द बॉन्ड पीरियड फाइव ईयर्स से पहले अगर आप रिजाइन करते हो दे विल बी लाइबल टू पे लिक्विडेटेड डैमेज इक्वल टू एक्चुअल सैलरी पेड टू हिम हर बट नॉट एक्सीडिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रॉस सैलरी फॉर वन ईयर राइट सो एक साल की सैलरी यू हैव टू पे प्लस 
the candidate would be liable to pay 35,000 rupees for the orientation and upskilling cost. So, एक साल की salary plus 35,000 rupees pay करना पड़ेगा if you want to resign uh, within five years, right? So, in event of voluntarily resigning from company. Uh, after completion of one year but before completion of five years the liquidated uh, damages shall be proportionately reduced right so selection procedure uh, so there will be an online exam followed by a proper interview this is the exam pattern uh, for specialist officers so in the specialist officer uh, exam there are six subjects in the journalist there are five subjects so there is reasoning ability uh, 25 questions 25 marks sectional timing of 20 minutes is there english language 40 question 40 marks sectional timing of 30 minutes is there uh, quantitative aptitude 25 questions 25 marks sectional timing of 20 minutes is there for general awareness 20 questions 20 marks sectional timing of 15 minutes is there for computer knowledge 30 questions 20 marks and uh, sectional timing of 20 minutes is there time management won't be a major issue in the general awareness uh, computer awareness and english language section it can be an issue in reasoning and comp uh, in the quantitative aptitude section because uh, solving 25 questions within 20 minutes is difficult uh, then an additional test uh, of professional knowledge is there uh, in the relevant uh, discipline for the specialist officer exam right for the journalist officer, it's all same except the, what do you say, except there is no professional knowledge exam. Reasoning ability, uh, there will be 50 questions, 50 marks. English language, 50 questions, 60 marks. Quantitative aptitude, 40 questions, 50 marks. General awareness, 40 questions, 50 marks. Computer knowledge, 20 questions, 40 marks. Uh, sectional timing is there uh, for reasoning and English. 40, 40 minutes are allotted. For English, uh, for quantitative aptitude, 30 minutes are allotted. And then for the general awareness, 25 minutes are allotted. For computer knowledge, only 15 minutes are allotted. Time management can be an issue in this paper, right? In the journalist officer exam, right? So descriptive test uh, for both journalist and specialist officers. The descriptive test of 30 minutes, uh, 30 minute duration with 30 marks will be a test of English language. There will be a letter writing of 10 marks and essay writing of 20 marks. So each candidates they need to uh, attain they need to score minimum marks in in the in this particular section in the descriptive as well as in the objective test okay uh, maybe you have minimum marks lene padenge, right so syllabus uh, i hope descriptive ka to clear here there will be letter writing of 10 marks and essay writing of 20 marks in the future i'll be discussing the descriptive paper topics and i'll be sharing descriptive paper topics on bank exams Stay updated. Okay, I'll share it. Uh, syllabus for the reasoning ability. There is machine input output. There is syllogism. Uh, machine input output inequalities. Syllogism puzzle. Sitting arrangement order and ranking. Statements and assumptions. Statement and conclusion. Coding and decoding. Cause and effect. Statements and arguments. Blood relation and direction sense test. Right. For English language, there is reading comprehension, close test, error spotting, double fillers, uh, sentence rearrangement, vocabulary based questions. And that's all. Uh, majority of the questions would be from reading comprehensions. In the quantitative aptitude, there, there is time, speed and distance, time and work, partnerships, mixture and allegation. Data interpretation is most important. Most of the questions would be from data interpretation. Sabse zyada question is Boats and streams, uh, kind of important topics. You can expect two, three question, one, two question from each of these topics. Ages and averages, profit and loss, percentage and interest, uh, problems on trains, pipes and systems, area and volume, number series, linear equation, quadratic equation, and uh, data sufficiency. Let's move on to the general awareness section. Uh, so we start with the countries and the capitals. Famous books and authors, banking awareness, current affairs. So current affairs is most important here. Current affairs and banking awareness. We'll do last six months of banking awareness and current awareness. That's really, really important. Whatever is in the news, we are going to do that. Uh, summits and conferences. It's all current affairs, important days. It's all current affairs, right? Whatever is happening in the financial industry, banking reforms, regulatory bodies in India, why they are in news, international banking, latest circulars, latest acts related to banking, priority sector lending, uh, banking and financial terms, 
foreign investment and trade growth numbers by various organizations union budget government schemes are very very important uh, it should be written here government schemes are very important basal norms joint military exercises india's rank in different indices list of appointments mous sports event awards and honors whatever is in the news it's very popular uh, it's very important for the exam so the static topics i would say government schemes um, union budget now it's sort of static now okay very important computer knowledge ms office is most important shortcuts uh, internet terms operating system basics hardware uh, history of computers networking database security tools and viruses so that's the syllabus of computer knowledge uh for the legal uh, constitution of india law of contract act is important uh, ipc uh, normally there are very few questions from ipc in the exam law of evidence epc administrative law principle of uh, natural justice uh latent terms law of torts arbitration transfer of property act companies act securities law and then insurance uh, act 1938 motor vehicle act consumer protection act uh, national legal services authorities act that's the syllabus for legal uh for the finance you start with the overview of credit principles of lending credit policy types of borrowers credit delivery credit appraisal credit rating and for module b analysis of financial statement basics of financial statement ratio analysis cash flow statement uh fund flow statement working capital management capital budgeting indian financial system that's part of the financial statement uh, analysis of financial statement budgeting bhi dera jayega budgeting leverages and then in the financial management indian financial system regulatory bodies in india capital market money market instruments time value of money uh, derivatives basics of derivatives and then in the other uh, module d we have export finance priority sector lending non fund based credit facilities government sponsored schemes retail loans and then in the module e we have documentation documentation may stamp duty act registration act irac norms types of charges ibc surface act we are going to do rbi circulars are important here then companies act contract act banking regulation act rbi act uh, negotiable instruments act and then payment and settlement act so that's the syllabus for the for the finance uh, specialist officer So United India Insurance Company Limited all these three courses are available on bankexamstudy.com links are available in the description we are going to provide the complete syllabus coverage with the help of video classes notes quizzes and the test series uh this is a whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts and list of our successful students in the past all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and we we make the best courses for the specialist officer and for the scale to scale three level exams all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future and yes you will be one of them in the future if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts our whatsapp numbers are available this is our whatsapp number 9067201000 uh you can ask your doubts here and we are going to answer your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye